got their championship rings and unveiled their new banner last night. They look like the same old Warriors, leading the Rockets by as many as 17. But then Draymond Green left the game in the second half with a knee strain, and Houston came all the way back to take the lead. In the closing seconds, the Warriors had a chance to win the game. The Kevin Durant's game-winning shot was called off because the ball was still in his hand with no time on the clock. Afterwards, Harden and Durant talked about the Rockets' comeback. I thought I had a chance, but I knew it was a little late. Uh, I knew it was cutting it close. Um, but you got to give Sean Livingston credit for, you know, keeping the basketball alive and just giving us a chance. But, you know, it's, you know, we uh, got to give credit to Houston, man. They came out and hit big shots before. Uh, they played well tonight. Um, and uh, tough loss, tough loss. But uh, first game of 82, we got to move on. We got to definitely have to get better. We're resilient, man. We don't give up. That's something we've been preaching uh, since the summertime, since we, uh, you know, got those new guys and, and even in camp and, even in preseason, you know, defensively, if we lock in and uh, pride ourselves on getting stops, offensively, we have more than enough weapons. Ourselves on getting stops, offensively, we have more than enough weapons to, to, to put up 120 points. So um, that's what we have to do. Shannon, was Houston's win a big deal or no big deal? No, because I saw Golden State get blown out on their home court last year uh, by someone else's team. Mm, and by then a they, real team. And then they would the go. The team that would have won the West, except for Zaza Pachicha who, by the way, I tweeted last night, he deserved two rings in their ring ceremony for what he did because he saved the season. Go ahead. And then I see them go 16-1 and one in the playoffs, and then I see them win 67 games moving forward. Mm. But I think what it, sh what it did show Houston, you can't beat Golden State doing what they do, which is shooting the basketball. They gave up 71 points in the first half, Skip. They gave up 50 in the second half. So it's saying, it's saying what it says to me, and probably, probably to them, is that if we're to beat this team, outscoring them is not the way to do it. We're going to have to, you know, lock down defensively. Now, I don't know if I've ever you seen. You just said that the Houston Rockets are going to have to lock down defensively. But they did. That's they, like an oxymoron. I know. I, but they gave up 50 points in the second half as opposed to 71 because they were on pace to get 142, and they ended up getting 121. Now, Chris Paul and James Harden, it's not very often. You'll see two guys in a regulation ball game get double digit assists. You will not. And I agree. That was highly impressive. Yes, I, I was very I was very impressed with that. And uh James James Harden can get buckets. Now we keep talking about how Kyrie is unstoppable, but James Harden, he got handles, he got step back, he can shoot the three, mm -hmm. and he can get to the bucket. Mm -hmm. I mean, dude, he's unbelievable. And Chris Paul, so they got a they got they got a nice, I mean. But can you count on P.J. Tucker giving you 20 points off the bench? Can you count on Eric? Making a big three at the end of the game. P.J. Tucker. They really got him for defensive purposes I because they see all what's going on in the I West. I thought Toronto got him to be their LeBron stop. Yeah, after LeBron hung 30-plus on him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they got 58 points off the bench. Mm -hmm. Well, Skip, if you're going to get 58 points off the bench, you're going to win a lot of ball games. Mm -hmm. A lot of ball games. Oh, and especially when your bench outscores Golden State's bench, mm -hmm. which is their strong suit. Yeah. You're going to probably win the game. But if you try to outscore them because they got three, four of the best shooters maybe of all time on their roster, and you try to outscore them, it's going to be futile. You're going to have to play some defense. This is something, but I'm not making a big deal. Do I think Golden State's not going to win 65, 67 games now? Absolutely. They will win 65, 70, 65, 67 ball games, just like they did last year. But I know you're going to try to play it up. Your Spurs not going to beat them, that's for sure. My Spurs are going to beat them, but I, now back to the question. Big deal, no big deal? I think it was a big deal because you saw what happened, as Joy pointed out, as she set up this topic. Draymond Green gone at the end of the third quarter with a knee strain. I don't know what that mm -hmm. means. I don't know how bad it, it will be ongoing issue. Right. Don't know. But – he is the guts and the glue of that team. And all of a sudden, we saw a little microcosm of something that happened back in the 2016 NBA Finals, LeBron James' greatest claim to fame, when, as you recall, at the end of game four, Draymond called LeBron a really nasty word. Just a, ugh, called him the B word. Why did he call he, him that name, Skip? Yeah, then he went up the other end of the floor and just cheap shot at him with a low blow. Right? Yeah. What happened? Suspended for game five. Stop. Skip. Swung the momentum. You're not telling the truth. Mm. You make it seem like he called him that name first. LeBron did his act first. Mm. That's what led him to being called a name. Okay. So he got suspended. And 
they were out of it in game five, even back in Oakland. And LeBron took over that game and took back over the series. What I about game six full credit. when he oh, played? It was tremendous. What about game seven it was when tremendous, he played? tremendous, except for the bicycle built for two block. With no, this. <laughs> he did. You know it, no, I know it. But Kyrie Irving obviously hit the shot. He ended it all. He ended it all. But, but again, way to go, LeBron. Way to go, Cavaliers. But what happened? Draymond wasn't there for the yeah. crucial turning point game. Yeah. It could have been a closeout game, right? And he was going to have a triple-double so last night. He was going to have a triple-double, and this team was going to win its home opener by 20 points because yep. it was ahead by 13 after three quarters. Yep. And what happened in the fourth quarter? 34 to 20 happened. It, it's, it, it's no coincidence there was no Draymond. They miss him. Yes. He, he is a leader of that team. It's, it's like a bizarre sort of thing, but they – he, he's their backstop. He's their cornerstone. He's the guy they look to. There's no Draymond there. Can they win a game without? Sure, they can win. But this was a big game against a, a on the rise team yes. that reloaded. And I agree with you. For for both those guys to have double digits, eleven and ten assists, <laughs> James and Chris, that was impressive. But Very. something else happened down the stretch last four minutes for the new Houston Rockets. Chris Paul's knee started acting up, and he had to go sit down. And all of a sudden, it clarified a little bit the chemistry, and I think it helped them to close that game. Right. And I saw a quote, this is pregame yesterday, from Chris Paul, where he said he's tired of dribbling, and he wants to get out on the wing and shoot it more. Like he dribbled too much as a clipper, and he didn't like sort of the culture, the team, the mindset. Somewhere, Doc Rivers is still laughing over that quote. Exactly. Like, like, like painfully laughing. You could have passed. You could have given the ball up. Uh, Doc just pushed and prodded Chris to take some more shots, be more of a yeah. two guard occasionally, right. you know, get in the flow. Cause mm -hmm. Chris can score, but he couldn't score last night. He was two for nine yeah. and wound up with four total points. And to your point, when your bench is going to do with that, bench, three guys come off the That's bench, the thing, though. three guys come off the bench and PJ Tucker goes 20 and Eric Six Gordon and 24 and Imba Mute 14. That's outrageous. If That's they, not going to happen. Everybody. If you think about this, Eric Gordon was 0 for 6 for 3. Yeah. So if you fact in, you in won. inside of the 3, he was not a 10 from the floor. That's pretty good. So okay. how how long can you go playing eight players? You're going to have to get something out of some some other people. I'm not counting on P.J. Tucker to give me 20 points a night and go 6 and 9, yeah. 4 or 6 from the 3. Well, I thought one of the most interesting things Magic Johnson said sitting in this seat yes. yesterday on Undisputed was – that he likes Oklahoma City more than he likes Houston. Right. And I was surprised because the Rockets got a lot of firepower. They got a lot of shooters. I think Magic is looking at it kind of like a lot of people. Mm -hmm. How does James Harden and Chris Paul, two guys that have been know. ball dominant over I, the last I three agree. years, how do they share this? But it, for the first game, for one game, looked like it went really, really well outside of Chris Paul not shooting the ball well, yep. but they distributed the basketball. It didn't seem they were in each other's but way. it helped maybe. It clarified that Chris had to go sit for the right. last four minutes, and then they closed it out. And for the most part, right. these guys are used to playing with each other. I mean, okay, you remove Chris, but Gordon is yeah. used to playing. He's used to playing that role in the fourth quarter. So I'm not, I'm not surprised, but Bob Mute and, and Tucker is really going to help because they got two defensive guys, and that's what they need because you're going to have to deal with Paul George and Jimmy Butler and Kevin Durant and Kawhi. Mm -hmm. So you're going to have to – and, and Wiggins. So you're going to have to deal with some of these long-rangey uh, uh, threes and fours, and this is what they got uh, uh, in Bob Mute and P.J. Right, Tucker. But Golden State better hope that Draymond gets healthier. He, he go, yeah, they'll be just fine right. as long as it's nothing sustained. Right. You know, no 30, 40 games. They'll be just fine. They'll so handle your team. He's talking about it like he's going to be okay. Yeah. Also, Nick Young fitting right in. Uh, that was impressive. Who would have thunk yeah. it? Wow. Yeah, yeah. I don't think Steve well, he, Kerr envisioned him being made, the lead <laughs> scorer. Wait, he made six out of seven threes? Yeah, he was five or six. I mean, he made, had 20 in the first half and only took one shot oh. in, the, in the second half. Oh. That's not what Steve Kerr envisioned when he signed Nick Young, yeah. you being the leading scorer, yeah. especially off the bench. Mm -hmm. No, it was, a, it was a nice little start. Yeah. Are the Cavs now a lock to win the East? We'll discuss that, discuss that with Chris Broussard next.